All right, so welcome back. Let's look at a different kind of array, which is called an associative array. So let me open uh, our basic HTML file and save it as asos, uh, I'll leave it there, asoc array dot php, enter. All right, associative arrays. So uh, what are associative arrays? These are arrays with uh, keys other than numbers like 0 and 1. As you saw in the previous tutorial, uh, each item in an array is referenced by a specific number from 0 to a whatever number it is. Now in this case we get the chance to actually give our own keys instead of using the default 0, 1 and so on. So let me uh, repeat the stuff is equal to array. By the way, uh, there's another way to create an array like this without actually using the array word itself. This is also a very valid way to create an array. So let's see if we get any errors from this. So let me run this in Firefox. Let me replace the part that says uh, local host. Okay. And we don't get any errors. So we can actually echo out something from here like stuff, uh, stuff zero, like that. Okay and we, we get the zero over there. Now, an associative array differs from this because there what you can do is you can create an array like uh, like this, you say uh, name, okay? Then you put an equal sign and the uh, greater than or less than sign, the greater than, the greater than sign, and you put a value there. You, let's say a name is equal to, you type the name there, Okay, so this becomes an associative array. So let me uh, refresh. Oh, I still get the zero stuff there. Okay, let's do this and use the print print r instead, so we can see exactly what is contained in there. Let's not forget our pre tags, so it looks nice and pretty. And let's go down there and close the pre tag. So let's see what's contained in there. So you see it's called name equals that. So I can do this with all these items. I say name um, age and I go and say equals to age equals nine and uh, home uh, equals city, something like that. And then I could, uh, yeah, let's try that and see what we get. Okay, so I refresh and you see name, age, home. Okay, so how do we retrieve information from this kind of array? So how you do it in here is you say, let's uh, try and echo one thing. We say stuff. We do it exactly the same way, but instead of using a number, now we use the word name, for example, in there. But if you do it like this, you're going to generate an error, actually, use of an identified constant name. Now this is because all strings must have inverted commas like that for them to be identified as just a string. So if I refresh now, I actually get the result that I want, which is on name. If I want the home, I would do the same thing and type home in there, and that's the result I will get. So the advantage of such an array is you don't need to memorize the location of a specific data that you want. You can just create an associative array and put a name to it. So for example, if I wanted to add, uh, let's say, uh, friends, okay, the friends for this guy, I could create another array in here. I could say array and put names of people in here, Peter, uh, John, and so on. So now I could just uh, reference this as friends, like that. Array to string conversion, let me see. Okay, so friends represents an array. So if in here I put also something like um, friend1, like that, and then let me uh, duplicate this, friend1, you see, the same way we're putting two numbers in front of each other, we can do the same thing here, and I'll get Peter like that. So this one is, you see, uh, friends, and then friend one, it goes in there, okay? So this is how you deal with uh, associative arrays. These are really helpful because you can, uh, instead of memorizing numbers, you can actually use 
words to describe the location of what you're looking for. And by the way, an array can contain an array and another array in an array. So even uh, with this array here, you can have a, an array like, uh, let me just give an example here. I won't use associative arrays here. I'll just use um, these normal arrays. I'll just do like one, two, zero, and so on. And then in here, I put an array, okay? And then I put zero, nine, and then another array, all right? Like that, and I put five, or six, sorry, four, <laughs> four, seven, and again, another array in there. So you can have as many arrays in an array array as you want. It all depends on the memory that your computer has. So let me just uh, try to check what's in there. So let's refresh the page. And you see what I've created here. There's an array with an array at the end. And then inside this array, there's another array and another array of an array. So to get to a value, like for example, the value that's here, you would have to go through all these. For example, I would have to type uh, four, two, four, three, and I'll get eight. So let's try that out actually. Let's say uh, echo uh, stuff, and we say four, two, four. Oh, sorry, four like that. <laughs> Two, I'm used to making arrays and four again and we have a three like that if I'm not mistaken this is the sequence so I should get eight as the result which is right there which is exactly this value over there so this is how you deal with arrays and you can practice with associative arrays because they're pretty cool and I will see you in the next lesson where we look at functions on how to manipulate data inside these arrays.